During the lockdown, College Sport Wellington will profile some of the leading athletes around our region. And with me to discuss all things Rongatai College basketball is Evie Tabor, who's one of the leading lights in the region in that sport. Evie, thanks for joining us today. Tell us what you've been doing to keep healthy during the lockdown and what are the biggest challenges of the lockdown? Mainly just trying to stay fit for the season. Um, like right now, we don't really know when that's going to be, but I've been just trying to like go on runs, um, doing strength workouts and working on my dribbling drills. And um, challenges probably have been not seeing my teammates and my friends and my coaches. Do you have a basketball space at home, a hoop, any court space, or is it very difficult um, to emulate physical feats? I don't have a hoop, but I do have a little bit of space that I can just work on my um, dribbling, passing, and all that kind of stuff. But um, not having a hoop has been kind of hard for me. Wellington has a national championship to defend, and you're a part of that uh, team. Tell us about last year's national championship win and how all that unfolded. Um, so that was actually in 2018, so that was two years ago. Um, so I was part of the um, under-17s Wellington team. And pretty much what happened, we trained super hard for like about four or five months. And then um, competition came and we just played re like really, really good as a team. And who did you beat in the final? And who were some of the tougher games at that tournament? Um in the finals, we played Auckland and we beat them by like, um, I think it was six or seven. So that was probably one of our tougher games. But the probably the hardest game we played actually was in the semifinals against um, Harbour A, which is another team from Auckland. Um, I think it went to double overtime. Yeah, yeah, it did. So uh, we really had to um, really pull my... Um, mind into it there at the end and we ended up winning by like 17 or 16 because we went on a crazy run in the last like two or three minutes which was crazy so yeah it was good. On the subject of crazy runs that Rongatai team in 2018 they had some pretty crazy runs winning that yeah. championship but tell me what it was like to be a part of that side and when did you know that you really had a team that could go all the way because it was the first time in 20 years that Rongatai won the premier competition. We, the start of the season was, um, our trainings weren't that great, but um, as the season kind of developed, our trainings um, became more in, in, intense and um, guys were putting more e effort into trainings and stuff. And I think, I would say halfway through the season, I kind of knew that we had the right um, players to take it all the way. And Chris Tupu was the coach of that team. He's a former tall black and a very accomplished man. What's he taught you about the game of basketball that you wouldn't have known previously without him? One of the main things that he taught me is um, how to shoot the ball and how to get prepared for the shot before the ball gets to, to your hands. So you're like already in a shooting position. Um, also, he taught me a lot about... Um, defense and also how to um, run the point guard. So that, that's been really helpful for me. And the final in 2018, there was a rugby match down at the Westpac Stadium. There were more people watching school basketball than that rugby match. <laughs> it was a huge crowd, a huge occasion. That must be among one of the highlights of your life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was for sure. The um, atmosphere was, was insane. Like, the crowds were crazy. Um, I think we had about uh, 100 or 200 people come from Rongatai just to, like, come and sub support us, and it was just crazy. And what did you learn in your role in the team in 2019 as opposed to 2018 when you had more seniors around you? Um, so, in 2018, I was um, starting on the bench. And I was um, privileged enough to watch, like, um, the players that we had play. And I got to learn a lot from them and how they play and how they approach the game. Good stuff. And in terms of 
your international experiences. You've been to Las Vegas and Tokyo, NBA Without Borders and camps in uh, Las Vegas. Do you actually play basketball in Las Vegas? Plenty of other things to do over there. Uh, tell us about your experiences abroad because that's an amazing thing for a young man. Yeah, yeah, it is for sure. Um, so I've been to Vegas, I think, three times. And each time I go for about two weeks or two, two weeks and a half. And that's been an amazing experience. Like just getting to play against like um, top players from the United States, from Canada, from Europe. And Evie Tabor, what a pleasure it's been to have you on College Sport Wellington this afternoon. Three trips to Las Vegas. Get ready for his 21st, folks. It's going to be a good one. And uh, you take care. <laughs> Thank you. You too.